Hi, Miss Hope. You're so pretty. I haven't even gotten out of the car yet, Saints. And she's like, Hi, Mom. It's um like 6 o'clock, Mom. It's my feeding time. Saints, have you ever thought about that? What? Yeah. About what you're going to eat? What's for supper? I'll bet you that question has been asked so many times it's not even possible to write it in a book and, and, and the whole entire world couldn't hold it. What's for dinner? Well, it's not horse meat. Hi, Hope. You are so pretty. She has um, dark eyes, but she has white uh, sclera around them. And uh, on her left eye, she has a white eyelash. And on her right eye, she has a partial white eyelash and partial brown eyelash. She's fearfully and wonderfully made. But right now, it's 6 o'clock. It's feeding time. So today, saints, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore, say I unto you, take no thought for your life what you will eat or what you will drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they are? Hope you are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a pretty pose. Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to his stature? I can guarantee you Hope can stand there all day long and hope she was another hand taller, which is in horse lingo, a hand is four inches. She's about 15 hands tall. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, she's probably sitting there thinking, Oh, Mom, I'm so hungry. I'm starving here. Would you feed me? She can't add to her height. She can't change a thing about herself. She's a horse. Same thing goes for you. You're not a horse. You're a human being, but you can't make yourself taller. You can't make yourself anything else. Well, you could probably lose weight or gain weight and take drugs and change the color of your skin and color your hair and stuff like that. But in terms of your your physical height and uh, things like that, not going to happen. The Lord has every hair on your head numbered. Isn't that cool? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why do you take thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil. They don't spin. I love the word of God. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and in, then tomorrow it's cast out into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Wow, that'll preach. Hey, Hope, tell him, O oh, ye of little faith, she has absolute trust and faith that I'm fixing to come out there in that barn and get her something to eat. You would think that we're human beings, we would figure out that God would take care of our every need. You know, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Hope knows I'm a feeder. We, we, we really should take um, a hint she trusts her master to take care of her. We need to trust our master, who is Jesus, to take care of us. He said it. Therefore, that's a, hey, you, listen. Hey, Hope, what are you doing? Get back here. You're supposed to pose for the, for the camera. You're hiding. She's going to get mad at me. Not really. If she does, she'll get over it really quick. Because I'm the one that feeds her. Are you hungry, Hope? Yes. Therefore, saints, don't, um, don't, thank it, don't, don't take any thought and say to yourself, What are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? What are we going to wear? Yeah, behind what's for dinner, what am I going to wear? Yeah. Yeah, just ask any female that question, right? I don't know. The men are getting just as bad. Hope, I can't see your pretty face. You're hiding. Oh, there you go. Hi. Saints, 
Jesus said this. Matthew chapter 6. Verse, oh, there's a kitty. Hi, kitten. Aw, oh, there's mommy. That's her kitty. That's Hope's kitty. I told her I was going to get her a cat or a chicken or a donkey. I, I, she, she just got, uh, she got the cat. Sister Bridget brought the cat, and I guess she made up her mind for us. So, they're both girls. They're pretty friendly. Yeah, that cat has no fear. Yeah, perfect love casts out fear. So, saints, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 31, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or where withal shall we be clothed? Good job, Hope. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Yeah. And back then that was the unbelievers. Yeah, the non-believers. Your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things, saints. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day. Ooh, what a pretty horse. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool, saints? Her right side is filthy. She went out in the pig pen and rolled. Well, horse pen, you know what I mean. Like we said, a hog's going to return to her mire and muck. A horse going to go right out there and roll in the mud. But look at how pretty this side is. Oh, yes. Hey, she just showed you her teeth. She says, Mom, if you don't come and feed me, I'm going to eat the fence. Oh, yes. Thank you, Hope. They wanted to see your faces. Yeah. She's actually two-faced. It's kind of cool because if you look at the left side, she has one color. And Hope, if you'll turn the other way for us. Can you turn the other way? Nope, she's not going to. Nope, she's not going to do it. But anyhow, she's brown on one side, white on the other. Uh, that's a video for another day, saints. We'll get to the two-faced another day. I better feed her before she eats the fence. So, the moral of this story... From Hope on a Star and Sister with a Testimony. Don't worry about what you're going to eat and what you're going to wear. The Lord has already taken care of that. He's provided for you. It's okay to decide what you want to eat, I guess. But just don't worry about it. Hope's not worried about it. So come on, Mom. Feed me. Saints, I love you. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. I'm going to go out here and feed this mare before she uh, falls asleep or eats the fence. Yeah. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. Have a blessed day. Later.